Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to design a professional product page for your business on Shopify. I'll be showing you how you can customize and lay out your product page. I'll give you some tips for writing your product description. Then I'll be showing you how to add variant options to your product. The example product page I'll be making is gonna be for a makeup product, but you can still follow this tutorial if you sell other types of products. This product page is a desktop and mobile responsive, so it looks great on mobile devices. And to follow this video, you'll simply need a Shopify account. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. To first get started, you're going to want to open your Shopify account. Then you're going to click products and click add product. I'm going to type in a simple product title. Then I'm going to put a short sales text in the description. You can write out your product description if you want, or you can use tools like ChatGPT to help you write out your description. Here I'm using ChatGPT to generate a product description. Later on, I'll show you how to add all the rest of the details for your product. Under status, you're going to want to make sure that the product is set to active. This way it will appear in your online store. Then under media, this is where you can upload any pictures and videos for the product. I'm going to keep the base of the product page pretty simple. And then later, once I go in to customize the full page, that's where I'm going to add the rest of the information for the product and the rest of the pictures. Next, you can select the category. And then here, I'm going to type in the pricing. You can type in the compare app price. And you can also type in your cost per item. This will help you to find out your profit and margin per sale. Here under inventory is where you can type in how much you have in stock. Then you can type in the weight of the product. Here under variants is where you can add your size or color option. I'm going to insert an option for color. And this is where you can list each color that you have for the item. Then right here under variant is where you can type in how much inventory you have for each color. Then if you would like, you can upload pictures to match each of these variants. I'll be uploading pictures to represent these two colors. Here's where you can type in your product type. Then you can type in the tags for your product. You want to type in tags. This way, when customers are searching for a product on your store, this designated product will be recommended to them based on their search term matching your tags. I'm going to go ahead and click this preview button. This way, you can preview how the product is going to look in your store. Next, I'll be showing you how to add this product to a specific collection and how to feature that collection on the homepage of your website. Here under products, you're going to click collections. Then I'm going to create a new collection. I'll be titling this the bestsellers. Right here is where you can select each product that you choose to add to this collection. Then here on Shopify, you're going to click themes and open your website. This is where I've imported a featured collection. And I'm just going to click on this and under collection is where you're going to select that new bestsellers collection. And this is how the display of those featured products are going to be when customers are on your website. You can also insert a collection list here on your homepage. This way when you create those new product collections and add your products, customers will be able to look through each of your collections and click to open up which collection they would like to view. By the way, if you are interested in this website I've designed, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I've put together this pre-made Shopify website template in a downloadable format. In case you're looking to have a professional style website for your business, this will help you to save a lot of time from just designing your website from scratch. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify website templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. And I also have many other types of Shopify theme templates designed for many different businesses, including clothing, beauty, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. I will link those in my description box below. All right, then next I'll be getting into how you can customize each section of your product page and list all of your product details. All right, so I'm first going to create a custom theme template for the product. Here in your Shopify theme, you're going to want to open this product. And right here, I'm going to click default product, then products. Then you're going to click create template. You're going to want to title this new product template, then click create template. Then here on Shopify, you're going to want to open that product again. And right here under theme template, you're going to want to apply that brand new product page template. Then here on your website, you're going to open that product again. And that's how we're going to create a customized page template for the product. So here we have the product information box. And then we also have the related products box right below it. You can hide this section if you would like. I'm going to be removing where it says the vendor of the product. Right here, I'm going to click add section. Then I'm going to import a rich text. For this section, this is where you can insert some of the main features for the product that you want to display first. And when you click on the text and then select the text, you can choose some different heading sizes. So you can make the text smaller or larger and you can put certain text in bold. Another option you have is to add links to the text. So for an example, if you want to link some of the text to lead to another page in your website, when you click this insert link icon, this is where you can select that page in your website. And also for this section, you have a couple other editing options for how you can position the text. Under desktop content position, you can move the text over to the left side or the right side of the page. And you can also change the content alignment of the text itself. 
If you want to reduce the spacing between the sections, right here under section padding is where you can reduce the spacing between the top or the bottom part of the section. You can also choose to set this to another color scheme within your website. Right below this section is where I'm going to insert a little product promotion banner. I'm going to do this by inserting an image banner. Alright, so I'm going to click on this main header text. And here I'm going to insert a title for this. You can reduce or increase the size of the text if you would like. And then I'm going to put a little mini sales text description. And you'll have the option to put this text in bold or italic. And again, you can insert a link if you would like. You can also make the text larger or you can put it in uppercase. Here for the button labels, you can link these to other pages within your website or you can paste in a URL. I'll just be removing these button labels. Then I'm going to click on this section and here I'll be removing the container on desktop and then I'll be setting this section to another color scheme. Here under banner height is where you can adjust how large the banner is going to be. I'll be setting this to small and then you can go ahead and insert your pictures for this section. You can insert one picture to represent your product or two. When you insert two pictures, they will display side by side. And again, you'll have the option to make this banner a lot larger if you want. So you can set this to large to display the images in a much larger view. When you click this mobile icon, this will show you how the display of the product page will be for your mobile view. Under desktop content position is where you can change the centering of the text. So here you can play around with where you would like the text to be on the screen. I'll be just setting this to middle center to keep the text centered. Under desktop content alignment is where you can just change the centering of the text. And also for the mobile view, right under mobile layout is where you can also change the centering of the text. For this stack images on mobile, when you uncheck this box, it will display both of your pictures side by side. And also when you click to remove the container, this will just put the text over each of your pictures. I'll be applying the container and then I'll be stacking the images on mobile. Alright, then once you're done, that is going to be how to just add some of the sales text and a few details for your product. Also, if you are new to Shopify and you're unfamiliar with certain features like setting up your Shopify payments, your shipping policies, reading your analytics page, and more, I do have a Shopify basics guide that you can grab from my website. In this guide, I've included a ton of details that you'll need to get your Shopify store set up and launch. I've included screenshots, text explainers, and video tutorials to help you understand each section. I'm going to link that in my description box below. Next, I'll be showing you how to display your product details, including what's included in the product. And for this, you can also include your size dimensions and wait for the product. You can also list your shipping details and key features of your product. Here I'm going to click add section. And here is where I'm going to import a multi-column. I'm going to title this heading. Then I'll be removing this lock. You can leave that in if it's going to be necessary for your product. Under number of columns on desktop, I'm just going to set this to two. Then I'm going to scroll down and I'll be removing this button label. To tie this section into your website, I'm going to set this to a color scheme that matches the rest of the website. It's best if your website has accent colors. For an example, this website includes quite a bit of pink. You'll want to include colors like that in your product page just to help it tie into your website. Under column alignment is where you can choose to center the text. And you can also remove this secondary background. The mobile view of this section is going to display each column. Right here under mobile layout, you can choose to select it to display two columns, which will display them side by side. And you can also enable the swipe on mobile. This way when you have multiple columns, customers will be able to just swipe through to read each one. Next, I'll be clicking on one of these columns. And here under description is where you can start listing the details. And also when you select the text, you can choose to make the text larger or smaller. Then I'm going to repeat that step for the second column. I'd recommend including as many details about your product as possible. And also when you click this arrow right here, you can actually move this section higher up in the product page if you would like this section to be closer to the product information box. Then once you're done, here's how the product details section of your product page is going to appear. And then I'll be showing you how to add one last ending banner section. This can also be like a call to action section. Here I'm going to click add section and I'm going to be importing an image with text. Here I'm going to set this to another color scheme in the website. Then you can upload a picture for this section. Under image height and also under desktop image width is where you can adjust the display of the picture so you can make it smaller or larger. You also have the option to move the image over to the right side of the page. Under desktop concept position, I'm going to set this to middle. This way the text will be directly in the middle of this section. And you can also center the content alignment. I'll be removing this button label. Then this is where you can either put more sales text or you can put a call to action. 
Once you're finished with that, this will be one of the last sections of your product page. And once you're done, this is going to be your finished product page. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget I have many different Shopify theme templates available on my website. I've put together these pre-made Shopify website templates and these will save you a ton of time from designing your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format and here in your Shopify account, you can easily install that into your store. In these template bundles, I've included instruction guides to help you with editing and installing the templates. And it has many types for many different businesses, whether you sell clothing and apparel, makeup and cosmetics, and I also have some for dropshipping businesses. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.